Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Tuesday, March 10th, 2015, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here are tonight's top stories. Tonight. Hillary says she used private emails out of convenience. Then, a study shows rogue cops endanger more domestics than terrorists. And the ATF drops its ammo regulations. For now, that's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? Well, Hillary Clinton finally addressed the public today about that email scandal. She dropped a few breadcrumbs and just let everyone know that she thought that it would be more convenient to set up her own homebrew server so that she would just have one device for both personal and business emails. Uh, I think you know most of the civilized world uses one device and is able to handle having business and personal emails. But, you know, she wants to go ahead and set women back by talking about how cumbersome it would be to have to carry around multiple devices because technology is hard. Right, Hillary? Now, here she's saying that it's basically more easy for her to set up a private server at her home than just create a .gov email. And this is for her convenience. She is endangering the national security of the country because let's not forget it was Guccifer who first hacked into her email account and revealed that she was using a personal email. This was back in 2013. Now, she said that she has deleted some of her private emails, which she said were things like her yoga routine and planning Chelsea's wedding and, and things like that. But not to worry. She didn't think that those were important to turn over to the State Department. But again, how do we know that a foreign government wasn't able to access her account? That's the issue with having a private server, setting up a private server. You have someone like Guccifer who's able to hack in. Who knows who else was able, could have been able to hack into these private emails. Total national security threat there. Now, because of all of this, we are learning that a lot of people there in Washington use their own personal email. Um, but do they all also have their own personal server as well? Is that business as usual in Washington? Now, Clinton insisted that she turned over all of her work-related emails to the State Department, because you recall she was asked to do that with this whole Benghazi investigation. Um, but she did go on to say that her secret private server is going to remain private. The president was not aware of the fact that this was a personal email server uh, and that this was the email address that she was using uh, exclusively uh, for all her business. Um, the president was not aware of that until um, that had been more widely reported. Uh, but again, the, the president's commitment to the guidance that we've offered to employees of the government to use official email for official business. So that was House Speaker Josh Ernest clearing up the president's remarks the other day when he said that he didn't know that Hillary was using her private email. Of course he knew because they were corresponding via email. But what he didn't know was that she was using her own private server. So clearly there's an issue with that. Now, Rep. Adam Schiff, who is a member of the Benghazi Select Committee, he praised Clinton's remarks today and he urged the State Department to do what she said in her tweet which was to release the 55,000 pages uh, that she provided and make them public. And he said, in particular, the department should prioritize those emails that pertain to Benghazi so that they are released as soon as possible. And he went on to say that the release of those emails could help conclude this Benghazi situation. Um, now, he basically hit the nail on the head without even meaning to the emails that she provided. She printed out her emails that she thought the State Department needed, and she printed them out and put them in boxes. And then she said, oh, I never even thought about it again. But that's the problem with her setting up her own private server is that she has the control over what's backed up, what's released. If she wants to delete those personal emails, they're just gone. And there is no accountability. Uh, normally, everything would have to be backed up and kept in the records. But here she's managed to make it so that she there is no accountability for her and she doesn't have to provide those emails and not to mention that the 55,000 pages that the State Department is going to have to now go through comb through is going to cost taxpayers 
millions of dollars and it's going to be a complete waste of time because we don't even know if those are the entirety of the emails. But to quote Hillary Clinton, oh, what difference at this point does it make? Hillary Rodham Clinton, mystery woman, first first lady to be under criminal investigation, inundated by scandals from Little Rock, Arkansas to Washington, D.C. The Clintons squeaked by Kenneth Starr's lengthy investigation into what is now known as the Whitewater scandal, a shady real estate deal the Clintons were never prosecuted for, although their associates were convicted of federal fraud and conspiracy charges. During the first year of Bill Clinton's tenure in the White House, they fired seven employees with the White House Travel Office in order to reward their friends with jobs. Travelgate erupted, and the Clinton's personal lawyer and deputy White House counsel, a man Hillary regularly abused, supposedly committed suicide over having to testify, knowing full well all of Hillary's devious secret pathways to power. Hillary lied under oath to the Office of Independent Counsel, claiming the last time she spoke with Foster was before Father's Day when in fact Vince Foster's assistant had seen her with Foster four times after that date. Patrick Knowlton, an eyewitness, saw men in red vests fleeing the area before Foster's body was discovered. Fast forward to today. Hillary's private emails were all transmitted on a private server registered to her home in Chappaqua, New York, while she was acting as a Secretary of State that oversaw the overthrow of Gaddafi, the Syrian Civil War, the turmoil in Egypt, and the Benghazi scandal. Ironically, President Obama signed a law last November that requires government officials to direct their official correspondence through private email to a government account. Earlier today, Hillary gave a speech about women's rights at the United Nations. Hillary addressed her globalist New World Order cohorts from a room in the United States where press freedom is heavily restricted. She then traipsed out to face the music yet again addressing her burgeoning career as a professional scandal creator by not initially addressing the subject at hand, instead acting presidential by speaking on the Iranian nuclear issue before launching into an orchestrated series of safe questions and even safer answers. So even if you have a work-related device with a work-related .gov account, you choose what goes on that. That is the way our system works. Earlier, so her daughter Chelsea had announced that she might run for office, adding more loathing to the failed Clinton dynasty. We can expect Remember, Hillary the train wreck to announce Not that she is running for the highest death. executive position in the United States. Why in the hell would America vote for this entitled, disingenuous, double-dealing person for president? I want you to get up right now and go to the window open it and stick your head out and yell i'm as mad as hell and i'm not gonna take this anymore if she survives this latest debacle maybe her campaign slogan should be vote for hillary you think those were scandals what difference at this point does it make you ain't seen nothing yet john bound for infowars.com The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. Tonight. 
Hillary says she used private emails out of convenience. Then, a study shows rogue cops endanger more domestics than terrorists. And the ATF drops its ammo rig. Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Tuesday, March 10th, 2015, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here are tonight's top stories. For now, that's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? Well, Hillary Clinton finally addressed the public today about that email scandal. She dropped a few breadcrumbs and just let everyone know that she thought that it would be more convenient to set up her own home